welcome the gathering. Good. Dear Reverend Dr. James Tobil, D.D., Bishop of Kohima. Reverend Fathers, Reverend Sister Jolly Jones, the provincial of Nibir Jodi Province, Jamapur. Sisters and dear faithful, St. Mary's Parish faculty is indeed privileged to witness the first profession and the vestition of a sister being hosted in the parish church. The parish is indeed grateful to God for one of its daughters in the person of novice Chandino Gracie Joy is offered to the Lord. On this auspicious occasion, I on behalf of the parish priest and the parish church welcome Reverend Dr. James Topil, who will be the main celebrant and who is the officials and senders who have come to offer their prayers and wishes. The parish also welcomes Reverend Sister Jolly Joes, the provincial of Nirmal Jodi Province, Dimapu, and all the sisters. I extend a heart, hearty welcome to all the sisters, brother, and all the dignitaries and members from other churches, the parents and the relatives of Novis Chandino Humzoi, and all the parishioners gathered here. Welcome everyone to witnessing the graceful event of responding to the call of the Lord to work in his vineyard. May this occasion be an inspiration to many responding to the call of the Lord. May I now request his Lordship, Most Reverend Dr. James Topil, D.D., Bishop of Kohima, to preside over the Holy Eucharist. Letters from Novice Praise Chandelo. Jesus said, if any man would come after me, let him deny himself and take up his cross and follow me. Novice Gracie Chandano accepted this call through the Franciscan Harris congregation, was trained, prepared, and are ready to dedicate herself totally to the service of God and his people. Let us now join her in this Eucharistic celebration as she offers herself as a sacrifice to the Heavenly Father together with the sacrifice of his beloved son Jesus in this holy mass. Thoughts the boats of Montsukupa, in Chantemon Mom Shiloh, boats on a lakuti in Dung Shiloh, etona, boats on Rukva etotubana, Franciscan Clarice Congregation, Jilo Bani, Ongva Eka Eyang Chang, Kitocho, Osi Hojilona, Ongva Ekam Kotagi, Ophilo Picho, Hojitibana, and Jim. Novice Presi Chandelo is the first daughter of Mr. Chandamo Munzo. She hails from St. Mary's Parish, Upper Cape. Her motto is to share the love of Christ. She takes the religious name as Sister Presi Chandelo Munzo. Novice Presi Chandelo Chong Shumbo Chandamo Munzo Dona Chomfa. Now I invite most Reverend Dr. James Topier. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God our Father and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Yes, yes. Father John, the assistant priest, the Ranari, the previous parish priest here, the assistant Lord Jones, the provincial, dear fathers, sisters, my dear friends, and especially uh, the novice Grace and her parents. We are indeed very happy to join the joy and happiness this morning, especially during the FCC congregation of the Nirmal Yodhi province as one of the novice take or get vested and take the religious habit and make your first profession. In fact, it's the first time I'm making a, a coming to a village chapel for a, presiding over the religious profession of a sister. I'm happy to do that. 
because I believe it's an occasion also an incentive for others to join in the religious life as well as an incentive to join what the other. One may say that today she is dedicating her life. It was God's gift. Now she make her life a gift to God. And that's what we are all called upon to do. All that we have, our own self, is God's gift. And what we are expected is to make of our life a gift to God. And she does it in a very special way as a religious. And indeed we are all called to serve God in this one way or the other. Because we know that our vocation as human beings, much more as Catholics and Christians, is an occasion to return to God in service, our life. Therefore, very often times, we think that we have the possession of our own life, that we are the owner of our own life. On the contrary, it is God who is the owner, who is the owner of our life. So we are all called to give back to God. So very often we are alone. We are mighty God and have mercy on us. Forgive us our sins and bring us to our last in life. family, O Lord, and increase it always with the new offspring, so that it may lead our daughters and sons towards their goal of perfect charity and work effectively for the salvation of all. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. I appointed you a prophet to the nations. Then I say, Ah, oh Lord God, truly I do not know how to speak, for I am only a boy. But the Lord said to me, Do not say I am only a boy, for you shall go to all to whom I send you, and you shall speak whatever I command you. Do not be afraid of them, for I am with you to deliver you, says the Lord. I appoint you over nations and over kingdoms to black up and to pull down, to destroy and to overthrow, to build and to plant. The word of the Lord. I have given to an Ito Alleluia. O Prince of 
one to God. Because she joined them in that home, look at Panina. Osi Ombona, Onde Ki, Otto, Ekunya, Jipunya, Osibu Tolia, Etoy, and Homji. The first time I am celebrating a profession in a parish, a village like this. So after this profession, I'll ask some of the girls, how many want to join the religious congregation, okay? Because it's a good occasion, a good incentive. That's why we take the trouble coming to the parish. And that's one of the reasons we have ordinations in their own parishes so that they become truly an incentive uh, uh, prompting in order to join the religious life. And let me begin this comedy by Kandi. First and foremost, for her courage and determination to live the religious life in the congregation of the Franciscan Chinese congregation. By her profession today, she is consecrating herself to God entirely. Number one, her concern and life mission is to attend to God and to His church. I formed you in the womb by you. Before you were born, I set you apart. She also may be feeling unworthy like the prophet, who made excuses by saying, I do not know how to speak, I am too young. Then the Lord who called her shorts, saying that He will be with her in all situations of life. In our so called postmodern world, for the present time, that glamorizes unbridled materialism and excessive consumerism, or to use the words of Pope Francis, going the way of the, all the world, the trapping of a human lifestyle and the worldly ways, especially for the present time through media. There are many, they are all alluring for many people. They are all influenced and drawn to it. And religious life is a call to be counter culture, to sin against the flowing drama and the flowing current. Today, we read in our sister, a continuation of the day, Mora, more best than people see, Mora, Wasana, Mora, give them money of party. Give them money of party. These parents offer the beloved daughter to God and his people. As the parents of his novice blessed heart, let us join them silently. As a sign of renunciation and detachment from the worldly things, the candidates remove her crown and ornaments, give them to her parents, and come forward in front of the major superior. And in her job, novice Gracie Kandenona, Limati Valanchisia, Ophit Tegona, Lietodo, Echenta Gito, Onkana. <laughs> we shall now witness the meaningful ceremony for you, Novice Gracie Tandeno, whom we have trained and request you that she be permitted to make profession in the Franciscan Parish congregation and serve the Lord faithfully in the church. On behalf of the church, the celebrant asks the following questions to the candidate so as to manifest before the assembly her willingness and joy in following Christ. And in our job, Bishop Nai Kampotung Twa Nrupe Kamutukona Ngadunori Hida GQ. My dear sister Gracie, what do you ask of God and of His church? Accepting the invitation of our Lord who said, Renounce the self, take up your cross, and follow me. I wish to lead a life of dedication and service to God and His Church by becoming a member of the Franciscan Clarice Congregation. Franciscan Clarice Congregation, I accept your desire to follow Jesus Christ 
in response to his will. Your parents and all those present here witnessed and approved your decision. The Franciscan Caris congregation accepts you as its member. You now enter the group of the daring and heroic virgins to identify yourself with the poor, humble and crucified Christ. May you be the messengers of peace and joy. The novice bow down for the blessing. You are the source of all holiness. He before you is novice. Christ, the divine teacher, for her constant study and imitation. May she belong to Jesus and his kingdom alone. May she enjoy the communion of saints, and with them, may she praise you forever and ever. Amen. You have come here with a desire to follow Christ more closely. And you will fall to make your profession. The Francis and Paris for creation Military and free, after sufficient prayer and consideration, with the full knowledge of this of its implications. Yes, my Lord, it is with adequate knowledge and free will that I have taken this decision to be a member of the Franciscan Clarice Congregation. Are you resolved with the help of God's grace, in close union with the Christ and His Church? to undertake this consecrated life of chastity with the Christ our Lord and His Holy Mother chose for themselves and to serve, persevere in it and in your ministry of the service of God and His people. Yes, I am with the help of God. Following the example of Jesus Christ, we are pleading himself to admit us to the God's love. Are you the soul to practice voluntary poverty in the in spirit and in truth, and to renounce self to total availability to God and man. Yes, I am resolved. Following the footsteps of Jesus Christ, our Lord, who in accordance with the will of the Father, completed himself even, even unto death. On a cross, are you resolved to offer yourself as a sacrifice in perfect dedication to the mouth of obedience? Yes, I am resolved. May he who began this good work in you bring it to its completion in the last day. You meet Christ Jesus. May he bless you and strengthen you in this mercy. To tread the path you have chosen in accordance with the rules and the spirit of the Franciscan Christ from creation. And may he bless you to unite yourself more closely. Then, his death and resurrection in your daily life. Amen. A bit is given to the novice by the provincial superior. Now the celebrant blesses the religious habit, which is an external sign of the religious consecration. O oh Lord, our oh God. You graciously will to give new habits to those chosen ones to show the responsibility and greatness of their religious vocation. O oh God, bless these habits. The whole community waits for the novice to come. In your mercy, prepare the heart of your servant for her religious consecration. May you strengthen her to persevere in, the, in her holy decision. Through your Holy Spirit, cleanse her from all her sins and inflame her heart with the fire of love. We ask this prayer through Christ our Lord. Amen. Let us all kneel for the for the litany. Let us say the litany to God.
intercession of the saints in your company. Listen to the supplications of all who put their trust in you. Bless this virgin. O oh, Most Trinity, on this your handmaid, who have consecrated herself to you, let the enemies of her soul not exult over them, who bear your seal on, on her soul. In, the, in your goodness, give the prayers we pour forth the heart free. She may share the burden of your people by helping the afflicted. May she relive the suffering Christ as she recognize that everything is directed by divine providence. For the gift of her life, may she be united with your saints in her heavenly home through Christ our Lord. Amen. She receives a crucifix, a copy of the Bible, a copy of the Constitution of the Franciscan Paris Congregation, and a copy of the prayer of the church. The crucifix reminds her of her heroic participation in the sufferings of the crucified Jesus, her spouse. The Bible is the rule of our life and the source of our strength. 
The Constitution guides her to fulfill her mission. The prayer of the Church keeps her united with the mystical body of Christ. In a Bishop na Sister Kum Thakoji, Kum Tue Chum Chak Chilo, Epi Angkata, Tom Pen, Bible, FCC, Isakong, Jona, Ekum Kho, Rantan Kakoji, Kum Kho Piu. Receive this crucifix. Let it remind you that you have been saved in Christ Jesus and you have been called to bring salvation to others as you brought it. Amen. May Jesus of the Gospel be the source of your strength. May His Gospel be your rule of life. Amen. Accept the constitution of the Franciscan Diocese congregation, which guides you to fulfill your mission in religious life. Amen. The Church, which keeps you united with the mystical body of Christ. Of the Almighty Father, Amen. may become the body and blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, at whose command we celebrate these mysteries. For on the night he was betrayed, he himself took bread. We give you thanks, we said the blessing, broke the bread, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body which will be given up for you. And he took his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the childish of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. Amen. O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever. Receive this ring of flowers as a symbol of your heavenly reward. Receive this light of candy which symbolizes Christ, the light of the world. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Dear fathers, sisters, parishioners, and all the invitees present here, there is a saying, God has two dwelling places, one in heaven and the other in a thankful heart. In the first place, we thank the Almighty for his mighty presence we experienced all throughout this day and the divine call given to Sister Gracie and the dedication she has made to God. I would love to acknowledge and express our sentiments of gratitude to all for the wonderful cooperation extended. There is an eminent personality amidst us who deserve our gratitude in abundance. He is a person throbbing with joy in serving 
vibrating love for the needy, and with a challenging vision for the future. He is now expressed my heartfelt love and gratitude to Father uh, Benjamin, the parish priest and principal, who hosted and coordinated the entire function today with the support of Reverend Father John, the assistant parish priest, and Sister Linda, the superior and the community and the people of Dakuti. Uh, dear Father John, you had to run extra miles to get things done in the absence of Father Benjamin. We acknowledge with gratitude your dedication and commitment in arranging everything meticulously. May God reward you for the selfless service done with great love for FCC. God's blessing. May God, who inspires all holy desires and bring them to fulfillment, strengthen you in your holy purposes as you strive to follow Christ by giving witness to his love in your religious life. Amen. May the Mother of God, Seraphic Father, St. Francis, and Mother of Mother St. Clair help you to follow the crucified Christ in every sphere of your life and to attain eternal happiness. Amen. May, may Almighty God the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit bless you and your, and your beloved parents, dear and near ones, and all those who have participated in today's function. Amen.
Hearty congratulations. Thank you. 